Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello ladies, welcome to my spot. Why women lose out on competent men. Now, I've been seeing some stuff around about that, like women want that competent man. It ain't that nece- not necessarily a confident man, because a man could come off as confident, but not able to get stuff done. Women want that man who got, who can go out there and make that money, who can fix things. Basically, um, with, you know, a thorough person, you know, what we in the hood would call a thorough brother. Or, you know, if they in other communities, well, I ain't even sure what they were using in other communities, but it's the same thing. You want that man to get stuff done. That's understandable. You know, you don't want that man who just look good, and but then, you know, he can't fix anything. He can't keep a steady job, anything like that. Oh, yeah, I get that. But, but, the problem is women tend to lose out on that competent man. They want that competent man, but they tend to lose out on him. And I'm going to tell you why they lose out on him. Because, think about something I always said. Now, women, y'all have this especially, but all people have this. They have a social face and a sexual face, right? A lot of times, women lose out on a competent man because they're really checking out his sexual face and not so much his social face. Like, the competence, of course, is social, but a lot of women are choosing a man based on his sexual face. So, you know who you're looking at? You're looking at that guy who's fine. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's normal. You know, you're looking for that man who's fine, who got that night like, rap. When he approach you and stuff, he know just the right words to say and everything. And, you know, you feeling excited, you get with him. And that's normal. That's normal. Look, that, we ain't saying it's bad, but it don't mean he's competent. Because you get some guys who are out here who they, they can be very, they can be sexy fine to you. Very attractive. But, and, you know, you feel good right away. You hook up with them right away. Because we know it's quick. We know it's quick. Women have said, women for decades have said, they can tell in the first few seconds whether or not they want to date a guy. And that's cool. And, you know, of course, me. That's why, and, you know, I talk about, I talk about to the men of having, you know, their presentation right, getting their bodies right, having their clothes right and everything. And that's understandable. I tell them that. I was like, look, it is what it is. But I'm talking to the ladies now. A dude can have all that. He can have his body right. He can have his hair cut right and everything, but he's not necessarily competent. Now, when I, when I start hearing that, I'm like, well, ladies, if you want a competent man, why are you, like, rejecting a man in the first few seconds? Because all the time I can see if it's some bum dude. I can I can see if the dude is like totally jacked up, totally bummy, you know, dirty skin, hair all unkept, and all of that. But a lot of times, a lot of times, women, and let me be clear on this. Not, let me be clear, totally clear. This goes across races, and I'm gonna I'm gonna address that thing. Um, because there's a lot of men who listen to this and think I'm specifically talking to African-American women. Now, actually, in my next podcast, I'm going to specifically address African-American women. But in this one, no, nah, this goes across. I've seen plenty of women do this. You know, it's different things. And, you know, the guys say, how oh, well, you know, he wasn't cute enough. Or he wasn't fine enough. He wasn't tall enough. All right? But, see, here's the problem. Okay, he's sexy, but it doesn't speak to his competence. How he look don't speak to him competent. Remember, women specifically talking about they want a competent man. But you can't tell that in a few seconds. Only thing you can tell in a few seconds is he turns you on sexually. You know, he look he got whatever it whatever it turns you on, he got it. That's all you can tell in the first few seconds. You can't tell if he's competent, because first of all, to tell if a man is competent, you're gonna need some time. You're going to have to be around them. You're going to have to check them out. Now, some women are smart and do that. I give it to them. And I'm, you know, I'm going to be, always be fair when I talk. 
Some women do that. In fact, some guys don't understand. That's why some women might take a, their time and just check the guy out. And that's, you know what, that's fair. That you, We got to stick with that. But a lot of women don't. A lot of women don't. They look at a guy, and if he don't have just that right combination of things to turn him on sexually, boom. And, you know, if they want to live like that, that's cool. But then when the same women come back and say they want a competent man, it's like, well, hold up. You rejecting that man right away. You don't know if he's competent. How are you going to know he's competent? You don't know anything about him. He can't show you. He walking down the street. He might meet you. You can't see anything. You meet him at a club. You can't see anything. You see him anywhere. You can't see him. You don't have time to check him out. That's that one second. What you going to see in that one second? Other than that, he got a nice body and he dresses well. That's all you can see. Oh, yeah, he carries himself well. Still don't mean anything. Because let's be real. This is a woman's channel. And even though I promote all this to uh, men, there's plenty of men who got that fake me out game. You know? And I saw that way back in the day. You had guys driving around like these expensive cars, but they, they lived in their parents' basement. You know? Some guys, they have a decent, you know, just an average job. They spend all their money on clothes and all the hookup, just the surface thing. That's been a big problem. That's been a big problem. And like I said, this is in all communities. Now, there's an aspect of it that's specific to the African-American community I'm going to get into in my next podcast. But, you know, you lose out because you're not taking, you're not, you haven't developed a mechan- effective mechanism for getting to know the guy because even when many women go on dates a lot of women have something else in mind <laughs> you ain't looking for confidence shoot too many women looking for that free dinner date or something to do you ain't looking to see if he's competent because the only way you can discover he's competent you're gonna have to see him at work you're gonna have to see him on something in fact uh, there was a, a book i've talked about this several times uh smart women foolish choices written back in 1986 Written by two psychologists. Now, they were talking about how women need to give some guys a better chance. Because he was uh, one of the examples they used was a uh, woman went on this date with this guy. And he just seemed real nervous and kind of fumbled through the date. She was ready to get off of it. But he was also a doctor. And there was an emergency. He had to go to someone's house. And he just said, hey, you come, just come with me. And she went. And then she saw the doctor part of them like a totally different aspect from what she saw on the date totally different aspect from what she saw on the date you know she was like um you know he was real confident and control and everything see the thing with a competent man the only way you can really tell if he's competent you got to see him in his element now if you work on a job with him and you ain't into that me too thing Ah, you might be able to find somebody, but most of the times you're not in that job. You can't see him working. You can't see him do that thing. In fact, I remember one job I worked on. This woman was going crazy over me. A couple of women. I've been on some jobs with some women going crazy because they saw how I worked. They could see I was competent. But a lot of times you lose out because you're not in that position. And, you know, I can't say, all I can say, is, and even even dating, just regular dating, even uh, if, even if you give that, you don't, you still don't see them. That's why women lose out on them. It's interesting women say that, but it's like, what mechanisms outside of being on a job with them, or being in a social environment where you can actually see what he does, can you really deal with that? Now, how women deal with that? That's on women. I'm just pointing out why. If you want that competent man, you got to see. It. You got to see who he is. You can't. And like, even on dates, he could be very competent, but he might not show you that part of him. You know, he could be that competent guy who's also sexy fine, but he all, he's just going to show you the sexy fine thing. That's just the nature of it, because part of, that's part of what you're looking for. So, you know, that's a, that's the thing to think about. It's an interesting dynamic, because I'm like, well, how do you suppose to see competent? That could take a while. That could take a while. You know? And outside of a job or a very uh, social circle where you can see him all the time and see him work all the time, you're going to miss out on it. I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. But I'm just pointing out why. A lot of women went, oh, come I can't find him. Well, everything would have to change. The whole culture would have to change. So, anyway, that's all I have for today. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace.